May I get your snap? Nah. Ask my boyfriend for it. He's in my bio. All right. Hey, uh, your girl told me to ask you for her snap, which which is kind of weird, but like, can I get her snap? <laughs> Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's me, Buzz. We got some me IRL today. Also, fun fact, you can't smile when you stick your tongue to the top of your mouth. Did you know that? Something that I learned. Fucking gotcha. Anyways, gotta get these out of the way. Would you like to buy a custom video just for you, X? I... Uh, of what? Anything you want, honey. Just for $40, XX. Uh, uh, I want a cat driving a tractor! What? No! Hey, you... You said anything. A video of anything for $40. This is on you. That's false advertising. Me crying. My boyfriend, an empath. I'm sensing that you want me to play PS5 for the next two and a half hours. <laughs> this is Leo. He thinks he's better than you. Y you know, Leo is, Leo is probably right. Um, he... He's so fucking cute, man. Look at that face, that smug little shit. Yeah, you're right, Leo. You're better than me. Aww. <sighs> this year marks the 38th anniversary of me not getting the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier for Christmas. Holy fuck, that thing is huge. Yeah. Good lord. I understand your lies, my man. That thing is so fucking cool. Fun fact, my uh, my parents got married on April Fool's Day, so when I was seven, I, I tried to be a little funny, and I made them an anniversary card that said, your marriage is a joke. And my mom cried. <laughs> fact. Elle did not know the beast could turn into a human. She was fully prepared to bang him as is. So, um, hypothetically, of course, this is not a reflection of my character, but if I had a werewolf boyfriend and he turned into a human and could never turn back into a werewolf boyfriend, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be kind of disappointed. The real tragedy of Beauty and the Beast is Belle's sex life, all right? Let's be honest here. <laughs> hey, sweetie, I'm at work. Dinner is on the stove. You only have to light it. The gas is already turned on. Love you. Oh, no. Oh, no. This, this is attempted murder. Grandma. Why are you posting on Facebook about not having not to November? <laughs> if you develop a nut allergy, I need to modify my recipes. Call me back. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just tell your grandma it's a new diet that's temporary. It's a, it's a new kind of modern cleanse. That's your best way out of it. So like. Which would you rather find living in your attic? A thousand roaches? Or a person? Okay, um, yeah, this is, this is truly on God the first would you rather that I, I've had to devote significant thought to. Neither of these answers feel good. Like with a thousand roaches, fuck, I have an infestation. How am I gonna deal with this? I gotta deal with bug control. I gotta hire someone. I've been living with a thousand roaches probably more and then there's finding a person how long have they been there have they been pissing in my sink what have they been doing do i have to fight them <laughs> everybody jumping on the anime wave now remember when we used to be weird for liking anime yeah um you weren't weird for liking anime you were weird for trying to do their special attacks during recess that was that was the problem you were cringe about it and and, and yeah this guy's rose 
It's <laughs> not the anime that was cringe, it was the people who were watching it. As someone who is in middle school, when the attack on Titan- God, I'm gonna fucking out this, aren't I? When I was 13, Attack on Titan was first coming out, we used to do the AOT scout salute. Where it's your fist on the chest and arm behind your back. We used to do that sh unironically to each other. God, it hurts thinking back to that. Ladies, uh, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Um, that would be the Taliban. See, I counter with this question. Men, what's stopping us from dressing like this? John Cena proved we could pull this off. So what's stopping us? <laughs> rise, rise up and seize the production of the goth attire. We can do this. <laughs> ah, I'm ready for Thanksgiving with the fam. I'm thankful for critical race theory. My, <laughs> my, man, <laughs> my man is walking into Thanksgiving with a f***ing tactical nuke. Good <laughs> God. Oh boy, r slash teenagers. Would you date a bisexual person? I, I mean, honestly, the real question is, do they know how to make a grilled cheese? Asking the real questions here. See, a good grilled cheese tells a lot about someone. How much cheese do they use? Do they butter the bread or use mayo? What type of cheese or bread? Do they do it in a pan, the oven, the microwave, the toaster? All these factors can be poured over to detail this person's life. Me personally? Potato bread, salted butter, and Kraft singles in a pan. You might mock the Kraft singles, but Oz, there are better cheeses out there. Yes, but there is something delightful about the way that the American Kraft Single very quickly melts the two pieces of bread and creates the gooey ooey substance that combines them and melts in your mouth. So fuck you and your provolone, all right? People be like, I love winter from their living room under a heated blanket with cozy socks on and sipping hot tea. No, go outside and like it. Let's see. People be like, I love summer, while they're sitting in a nice cold pool. No, go out there and stand in the sun. No, but like, seriously, I like winter because when I'm cold, I can put on another layer. In the summer, when I'm hot, there comes a point where all I can do is shed the mortal confines of my skin. And that's not viable. So... <laughs> I have felt uncomfortable before, but we were just passed by a slow-moving hearse and funeral cars. My, uh, my son is dressed as the Grim Reaper. He fucking waved. Hey, hey friends, um, if, if you can't pray in English, please pray in your local language. <laughs> Last Sunday, I heard someone say, Lord... You are nothing without me. <laughs> and <laughs> Imagine going to hell because of grammar. Hi there, my name is Balder, and I develop amazing games like this all the time without even trying. I am looking for a job in the children's industry. If you had fun today, tell your parents to email me at baldersgreatgames at gmail.com. So, I'll give you a guess as to what the great game that Mr. Balder himself developed. It's called the Leaf Bag. Kids, thanks for playing. Uh, put me back in the bag. Adults, your child has stolen my microphone. It's supposed to stay with the Leaf Bag game. If a child took it home, it's stolen property now. Email me at once at baldersgreatgames at gmail.com. You know, sometimes it's not always ghosting. Oh, I see, so you just ghosted me? No, I, I didn't. Your conversation skills were below par and I carry the conversation all the time. You are nonchalant, inexpressive, and your idea of taking an interest in me was a constant, how is your day? Having a conversation with you was not mentally stimulating. I didn't ghost you, 
I just stopped entertaining mediocrity. <laughs> wow! Buying your girl flowers on Valentine's Day? Question mark? Send them as a secret admirer. If she doesn't mention them, she cheating. Parfum cigar, big brain hood veil moment. Okay, but or let me let me just let me just you know let me ponder you a question. If you're the kind of guy to do this, you're also probably the kind of guy to blame your girl if they do have a secret admirer. So if she doesn't tell you, there's probably a pretty good reason, and the mirror might tell you why. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most insecure of them all? Oh wait, this isn't, I, this isn't a magic mirror. Fix this by moving only one matchstick. Six plus four equals four. We got this guy down here just simply, I mean, yeah, it's, that's one way to solve it. But the intended solution is you take this fucker here and you drag it over here to get five plus four equals nine. That's, that's the intended solution. Wait, hold on, is that valid? Okay, yeah, no, that works. Light mode haters. Do you read books that look like this? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, bro really said this then showed us the sickest looking book ever. Being an adult is hard, but thank God for not having to get up at 6.30 a.m. and go to school just to prove why triangle is a triangle. Oh, what's this? Child detected! Nice try, you little sh Any adult who I speak to would much rather go back to school and learn basic geometry proofs instead of dealing with this hellscape. Turn back and run! It's a f***ing trap! <sighs> Kids these days don't know the struggle of composite tables. I mean, you really struggle with this, dude? Like, come on. Literally just match the colors, bro. I honestly, though, the struggle wasn't having to match the colors. It was squeezing behind the TV and awkwardly contorting your body in a way that allowed you to plug them in. That, that was the worst part about it. All right? Because you couldn't see what colors you were plugging in half the time if your TV was in a weird position. Not to mention when HD composite came out. There were two red ones! Holy fucking idea was that? Two red! Okay, I... I fucking hate grocery store checkout screens asking me if I want to donate $20 to end child hunger or whatever. You're a $10 billion corporation. I'm using a coupon to get 50 cents off a bag of potatoes. Why don't you donate $20 to end child hunger, huh, Mr. Bezos? Ever think about that? Hey, a uh, uh, quick question. Is it for fuck's sake or for fuck's sake? Uh, it's it's for a work email, so it has to sound professional. Don't want to be wrong about that, of course. See, you're actually wrong on both fronts. Um, it's actually for the sake of fuck, implying that fuck would be possessive, so therefore there would need to be a little apostrophe, because it's for fuck's sake. For the sake of fuck. It's, it's, you see what I'm laying down here? Are you picking it up? I hope so. Hope you're working out. Oh, shit, this was like three years, four, four years ago. Ha, oh, you know. Hey. Hey. Just so you know, I'm not gay or anything. Uh, dude, uh, this is, this is grinder, my guy. <laughs> you're in the middle of the war zone. <laughs> Oh, so I guess people who are lactose intolerant can't walk down the fucking dairy aisle, huh? I'm just looking. <laughs> looking for what? Do you all introverts ever open a text to just think, I'll reply when I have the energy? And then it's like three weeks and you just have to like live with the guilt of being a horrible friend. Hopefully, to all the people who text me on a regular basis, this helps explain things, because... Uh... <laughs> Shower thoughts. Everyone hates being sung happy birthday, and everyone hates singing happy birthday, so like... What the fuck are we doing here? See, my friend, you're looking at it all wrong. Singing happy birthday is one of the few times where you can embarrass yourself at someone else's expense. Use this information wisely. Okay, 
At the end of every haircut, they ask me if I want product in my hair, to which I always reply, no, I'm going home to shower anyway, because hair in my shirt bothers me so much I have an assigned haircut shirt. Are, are there people, like, going and getting haircuts and just going about their day? Now, now this, th this guy brings up a pretty valid point that now is haunting me. Because either A, they're trying to upsell me for product I don't need, knowing I'm just gonna wash it out, which, if that is the case, fuck you. Or B, there are actually wild sociopaths out there who don't have sensory issues. Or, or maybe C, it's something else entirely, and I'm about to learn a lot about myself real soon. Oh boy, it's, it's the outro! Um, yeah, it's, it's the outro. I'm gonna be streaming, uh, soon. I, I don't know. I'll be, I'll, it'll be like, it'll be games. Maybe some chatting. Who knows? Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and comment. I, I don't know.